What's up guys and welcome back to Epic Journey Through the Bible. My name is Jacob Cerns and today we're looking at Mark chapter 9. We're going to be talking about making demons into losers. Making demons into losers. I love this. Okay, so Jesus is here with this demon-possessed young man and his father, right? And the father's asking, Jesus, please help us. We don't know what to do. We don't know how to solve this issue on our own. Please, can you help us? And Jesus says, of course I can help you. But first talks to him, asks him some questions. They go through. But one of the questions that Jesus asks really, really is interesting to me. Because Jesus asks the guy a question that he should already know the answer to because he's Jesus. He says, how long has he been like this? How long has this been happening to him, Jesus says. Now why would Jesus ask that question? He already knows the answer. Is he asking because he wants the guy to tell him? No, he knows the answer, right? So why is he asking the question? He's asking the question so everyone in the place who is just about to see this miracle will understand how much of a real miracle this is. He wants them to know this is not just a gimmick. He wants them to know this is not just a display of a little bit of supernatural power. No, no. He wants them to understand this is the almighty power of God. And not even Satan, not even the forces of hell can stand against the awesome power of God. Wow. What an amazing thing. So he asks this question and the father says, since childhood, and he's been thrown into fire and into water and in life and death situations where he could have died because this demon is trying to kill him. And it's been a horrible, I'm sure it's been horrible for the father watching his son grow up like this and having to experience this on a regular basis. So he's desperate here and he's pleading, but Jesus specifically asks him, how long has this been happening? And then when Jesus casts out the demon, he allows the demon to kind of shake the boy one last time so the people watching can see there is a real struggle happening here. There's a real battle here, but who's in charge? Who wins the battle? Jesus always wins the battle. The power of God is too much for the power of the enemy. The powers of evil, powers of darkness have no chance whatsoever against Jesus. It is a battle, but it's not really a battle. It's really just kind of squashing the cockroach, just, just squashing him like a bug. And Jesus wants to show these people that even the strongest of demons, even the kind that only come out through prayer and fasting, even the kind who have been with this boy since childhood, even those the kind who would give seizures and are trying to kill this boy, even those demons have no power against God. And in the presence of God's son, Jesus Christ, who is also 100% divine and God himself. And he holds that power and he uses that power to set the captives free. And that's what he does for this young man in this story. What an awesome thing making demons into losers. God bless you guys. Have an absolutely amazing day. Hope this video was an inspiration for you. If you like it, push that thumbs up button and tell me about it. Peace, love, and the joy of the Lord.